Figma is a powerful tool that lets us set up color and font styles so we can have consistent designs across the board and help scale our design systems. Let me show you in this video today how to quickly set up styles and the basics of color and font styles. We'll use this as an example of how to set up color and font style. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to select a font that I want to set up a style for. Now that I have it selected over here next to text, you'll see these four dots. I'm going to click this and I'm going to click a plus to create this style. Now I can name this style. So for example, this will be my H1. I'm going to name it H1. And then you can write a description for large titles, create style. So now on the right, if I have nothing selected, you can see local styles, text styles, H1, and that's the size of it. Now I can go from here and I can edit it by clicking this. I can change the name, I can change the description, and I can change the size of it. Now that we know how to set up styles, let's apply the rest of the styles. So I have three different texts here. We'll call this H1, H2, and text, and now I'm gonna set this up again using the same steps. So let's name it H2. Let's create another one and we'll name this text. And now you can see on the right, we have H1, H2, H3. So for example, if down the road, we change up the fonts, say this is Poppins, or let's just pick some random font like this. And I select it, I can click next to text, the four dots, I can select the style I wanna use and it will change it to that style. Setting up color styles is very similar to setting up text styles. And I just wanna show you the process of setting them up and then organizing them based on the project you're working on. So let's select this gray here. We'll click the four dots plus we'll name this gray, create style. And then we're gonna repeat the process and name this black, create style. And now whatever I select, I can apply those color styles to very quickly and easily. Also, if I wanna edit my colors, I can either click this or I can right click. I can add a new folder, create style, delete style, or cut style. Also, while you're creating the styles to organize them in folders, what you would do is you select this, say we're gonna set up a new style. I'm gonna name the name of the project. So let's call this UI test. And then I'm gonna put slash black. And now on the right side, you will see a little folder called UI test where all those colors will be nested under. Now that all my styles are linked to text and the color styles, I can change things with a click of a button. So say I wanna change this black to a different color. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the right here, I'm gonna select the color and as I change it, you can see automatically every color associated with this style will change on my design. So that's a really quick way to build a system that scales, a system that can be updated by one click or with one action. So say I change this to this bluish color and then all the gray elements I wanna change to a purple, for example. And just like that, I've completely changed the entire style of the board without sitting there and going through each style. So that's some of the basics of what Figma styles can do. If you enjoyed that video and you feel like you learned something, please drop a like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you want me to create a basic tutorial about next. And until then, I'll see you soon. Cheers.